Welcome back to another episode of DCT CNC. Today uh, on my channel I'll be making some of these new guillotine adjustable slide mounts. This guillotine is a Hathco Metal Master and for some reason they used cast parts on it. Now when it was relocated it was accidentally bumped and it broke. Um, so I've, today I've decided to help the plumbing teacher out and make him some new ones. Now I didn't have a long, long enough piece of aluminium, so what I did here guys, I made out of two pieces and put a little uh, halving joint using SolidWorks and HSM. Well here's my completed part that I've drawn in SolidWorks. Uh, for my proof of concept here I've drawn this as two separate parts then assembled them and I'll show you. Part A is this one here, a simple extrusion, some extrude cuts and another extrude cut to do this halving joint. Part B was the other opposite end, and it had some um, chamfers on the end as well, and also a halving joint through here. And there's my completed part. Okay, let's take a look at the cam strategy that I've used here to produce this today. We'll click on the job, and we'll click stock simulation. Um, it's a facing strategy. We've got adaptive clearing on the outside. I'll do the next one. Adaptive clearing on the end to get the halving joint. We've got some contouring on the outside, 2D contour to get down to our finished size. We've got a spot drill coming in now to locate the areas to drill. We've got a 8.5mm drill bit going through here. And I use an 8.5mm drill bit so I can get the tap size hole to 10mm by 1.5 pitch. I've used a boring cycle to bore those holes out to a further uh, 10 millimetres and then a spot drill just to clean up and chamfer. And there we have it. Um, same strategy was adopted here as well in part, part B. Well, I might just show you that one real quickly. And the same strategy again, adaptive clearing. We'll fast forward that. A profile. Adaptive clearing on the end for the halving joint, sorry. Profile, spot drill and drill and a boring cycle to take that out to the required size. Now to get the actual part out of there, I I'll be flipping it in the vise and I'll be machining the back side of it, okay, down to the required size. You can see it here. And just using a spot drill to chamfer.
and here we have the finished product.